Magnetars are cosmic mining of gold. Astronomers have discovered a previously unknown birthplace some of the rarest elements in the universe. In a recent publication they said the source was magnetars flares. According to the researchers, such flares may be responsible for producing up to 10% gold, platinum, and other heavy elements in our galaxy. Astronomers have long thought about origin the heaviest elements in the universe. The lightest elements, such as hydrogen and helium was created in the early universe. In turn, elements such as coal, oxygen, or iron, formed in stars before they are thrown into space space during a violent explosion supernova. However, to create heavy elements is required it's an extreme environment. This is where the reaction chain known as process R, R process, rapid neutron captures process, in which nuclei atomic atoms quickly absorb fast neutrons, creating new, heavy elements. But the sources of many elements heavier than iron remain incomplete. In the research that appeared in the journal The Astrophysical Journal Letters, scientists describe the discovery in old NASA data and ESA signatures of the R process, which came from the magnetar flare, i.e. a neutron star with an extremely strong magnetic field. The heaviest elements are created in the process R. This process it can only occur in extreme environments, which is why astronomers they expected environments created by supernovae or fusions of stars neutron are the most promising places where this could happen the process. Less than half the elements in our universe heavier than iron is synthesized by the process R. However, the identification places that give rise to the necessary conditions for the process R, remains it's a challenge. Pasis include the merger of neutron stars, winds proto-neutron stars during supernova collapsing in the nucleus and outflows from the black hole's accretion disk, among other sources, he explains. A team in the publication. However, with some of the candidates for the sources of heavy elements there are problems. For example, it is believed that until the first fusion of neutron stars it happened too late to explain the presence of gold and other heavy elements in earlier periods of the universe. Scientists among others the possible sources of heavy elements also exchanged magnetars. They have predicted, that if they are actually a source of heavy elements, it will be visible in visible and ultraviolet light. The problem was to see enough it's a clear signal. In 2004, astronomers detected a bright burst of light and a stream of particles accompanying it. The light came from the one located around 42,000 light years away from us Magnetara a genus neutron star surrounded magnetic fields much stronger than Earth's. Explosion of radiation it lasted only a few seconds but it released more energy than the sun in a million, years. However, the first flash of light followed the second signal, which it reached a peak 10 minutes later. For 20 years, this signal remained it's not very clear. Reanalyses of the data collected at the time, carried out by astronomers from the Center for Computational Astrophysics of the Flat Ironic Institute in New York City has shown that unexplained, second signal corresponds to predicted the magnetar signal producing and distributing heavy elements in its a flare. In addition to confirming the source of the elements, such as gold and platinum, Astronomers have determined that the 2004 flare itself produced the equivalent of one-third of the Earth's mass in heavy metals. This is only the second time we have seen directly, where these elements are created. This is a significant step in our knowledge of the production of heavy elements, said Brian Metzger, CEO author of the study. The first was the merger of neutron stars. In 2017, 
astronomers they identified a heavy element in space Aeschylus that it was formed by a collision of two neutron stars. Researchers estimated that up to 10% of all the elements created in the R process in our galaxy were created as a result of a flare the magnetars. The rust may come from neutron star collisions, but scientists they emphasize that it is difficult to determine the exact values or to confirm that it is there are all the sources of heavy elements. We cannot exclude that it may there is a third or fourth place that simply not yet we saw it, Metzger mentioned. The interesting thing about these gigantic flares is this, that they may have existed really early in the history of the galaxy, he explained. Anurag Patel, the lead author of the publication. The magnetars may be solution to the problem we had when in young galaxies was observed more heavy elements than could have been caused by collisions themselves neutron stars, he added. Strong magnetar flares appear to occur every few decades in the Milky Way and about once a year in the entire visible the universe, but it is difficult to see them at the right time. When gamma flare will be detected, the telescope should be directed to the source within 10 up to 15 minutes to see the pinnacle and confirm that they are forming their elements of the process R, Metzger explained.